This is the Vamps. Yeah. And, uh, and this is our bizarre gig with the sun. This is a chance for you to get up close and personal and ask some questions of the Vamps. So let's bring the guys on stage yeah. now. Hello. How's it going, guys? Real good? Obviously, there is the famous dinner with Taylor Swift, <laughs> yep. which everyone likes talking about. It was a good about. dinner. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She was lovely to us. We went on a tour, and she invited us to her house for supper, and that was very lovely. James helped clean up the dishes. He did. And uh, we listened to he country music. Very domestic. Together. <laughs> it was very good. And, and then also the famous dinner now with David Beckham. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to remember. Yeah, yeah, we had a, a barbecue. Um, it's name dropping now. Cooked by <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, which was very, very lovely. And uh, the Beckhams were there, and we had a lovely occasion together. Um, yeah, and James nice. Corden as well. He just showed up. He yeah. did. That was the first. <laughs> just like yeah. random people. And then obviously you discovered Brooklyn Beckham as well, arguably. <laughs> Well, it was nice to showcase him in that light because he was like people always seem to really love him and take to him um, just because he's, he's a really nice kid and um, his Instagram's full of very good pictures. It is. Do you swap tips with him about the use of Instagram? Because <laughs> you good. guys, you're pretty good at it, aren't you, James? Thank you. you you love a a toilet topless selfie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, with a face mask on as well. Yeah, bottomless as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought about dating a fan? <laughs> fans are normal people too, of course. We like fans, yeah, they're very nice. Very nice. <laughs> they're very nice. <laughs> There's hope. There's hope, ladies. When will Tristan rap? He promised that. When? Uh, You'll have to wait to now. Do it on Go. Tour. Whenever, no, whenever these guys want me to let me out of the cage. <laughs> we, we wrote a song in Germany, and the whole song is just Tristan uh, rapping. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We'll have to hear that. It's pretty and, I mean, you do love Dr. Dre, as you told us on the Extra Factor. <laughs> Did everyone see that great moment? Yeah. It's very funny. Have you read any of your fan fiction? We, uh, we, yeah. did, we did this at like the start of The Vamps, like two years ago, and haven't done it since because it was quite a, it a peculiar you. thing yeah. to read. Yeah. Uh, so, no, not anymore, sadly. Good imaginations, though. Yeah. Very creative very on their behalf. Like what goes on at what goes on in the fan fiction? I, I don't and know what you doesn't can, go on. I yeah. wouldn't want to say Taught me a few things, Dan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I need to get reading, I need to What's get that? reading. Can any of you do accents and can you each try one? Which is quite fun. Connor, you start. Uh you're right, it's Dippy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Tris, can you do one? How's it all going? Here from Wales. I'm meant to be better than that. Just the nerves have got me. What are you gonna do? I'll try yours. We're going to go out on tour today and it should be fun. That's Australian. Love that. That's but, Australian, mate. But He's I'm not Al Stewart music. from Home and Away, OK? <laughs> you do a good one of your mum. Yeah, you do. But my mum only works because you know my mum. No, go on. Come on, James. Do you, do it's time to go now. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't really work because you don't know my mum. <laughs> no, still good. Tonight was amazing. Um, we watched the Vamps and they performed some of their old songs and some of their new songs, um, as well as the Q&A. Well, it was basically like a mini concert for 400 people and it was just amazing. The proceeds were going to Teenage Cancer Trust that the band support. It's so intimate compared to the um, arenas like the O2 and Wembley. You get to be so close to them and you rarely get that. It was in the Sun newspaper and I was like, Mum, we've got to go here. And she, she went online to get some tickets. Everyone just ran to get tickets because it's 400 out of like the whole nation. And that's like really hard. It was literally first come, first served. If you last, too bad. 
Basically, my dad got it for me for a present, like surprise, and I cried when I found out. So I was really happy. I think my favourite moment tonight was when they sung I Found a Girl, because that's one of my favourite songs from the album. Um, hearing the new album, like some of the, the new songs, songs, the new songs, and seeing the boys perform, like knowing that they're happy, like performing in front of a big crowd. I love it. Brad touched my yeah. hand and Connor, <laughs> and I got a plectrum. So that was. Got, but all the songs were and a set list. Everything. I, I love everything. I just, I love everything. It, it was great. It's one of the best nights of my life. It's such a great night. So. Yeah. They're amazing. The boys are so yeah, good. So good. It's so talented as well. I definitely I would definitely recommend would it. Would make it to everyone. <laughs>